Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people. Let me straight away start off with the uh, browser preview. Now look at this uh, look at this example, this illustration. Few words, movers and shakers which are rattling around, just shaking around, which are actually uh, badly jarred. Now the animation looks a little choppy simply because every time I actually record the screencast, I do the, the you know the screen recording, the animation actually becomes quite choppy, but otherwise it's pretty smooth. Probably the um, you know my, my CPU, my processor cannot handle uh, you know uh, you know uh, the, 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 the uh, load on my processor which is uh, you know quite mediocre cannot probably handle the animation properly but otherwise you know if you test it on your systems it will be pretty smooth quite smooth so you see this kind of an effect was done purely through CSS and it's so very simple to achieve I think the code is so very uh, minimal I can uh, easily talk you through I've used the animation property people and it's so very easy to do this let's see how yep so let's uh, you see this is the index.html file that you just saw and this is the uh, related or linked CSS and that's not too much I can easily uh, talk you through if you understand the animation property especially the uh, animation chart and property this shouldn't be too difficult for you so we are using the HTML5 doc type and uh, the title is movers and shakers qualitylessons.net that's the name of my website you see this HTML document is linked to an external style sheet called uh, style uh, style.css lying in a, a folder called CSS alright this uh, you know all is pretty standard and uh, you see I'm actually using a Google font and this is the way you should actually be using it this is the uh, URL okay again I'm gonna go too deep into how to use Google fonts and uh, apart from the link tag in the body of the document that is linking to a jolly logic font I have apart from that a paragraph which uh, you know which has a class of NM and uh, just has three words inside which say uh, movers and shakers okay and uh, let's understand the class NM that's inside the uh, inside the style.css which is again uh, self-explanatory people very simple to explain the body of the document has a darkest shade hash 333 this is the class NM people. I've used the uh, dash web dash window prefix before the animation property. The name of the animation is shake me up. The duration of the animation again. This is animation short and property people. This is the window prefix. This is the animation duration 50 seconds. This is uh, you know the number of times the animation should be performed. Infinite means uh, never ending. This animation is never is never going to end. And alternate means from point A to B and back to A and then by you know. Uh, going back to B and then back to A. So you, I'm sure the word alternate is self-explanatory again. A to B, B to A, B A to B, B to A, etc. Color is, um, you know, a, a yellowish kind of a shade. This is the font family. Once I insert the link tag like this, I can use the uh, Jolly Logic Google font uh, in this manner. I can use the font family right <coughs> font size whatever whatever text align center that's actually centering up the text right and um, <coughs> excuse me don't let the uh, choppy animation deter you people from creating this effect it looks very smooth and really nice um, I wish uh, I could show you without the screencast how this uh, actually looks but then again then I can't capture the screen once the screencast is on it really becomes very choppy and jerky okay so now I'm using the at the rate key keyframes rule people and uh, the from and the two mm, frames you know from this point or this uh, stage to that stage you see, you can uh, instead of using from and to keywords, I can use uh, it in terms of percentage, zero percent, fifty percent, hundred percent, or thirty-three percent, sixty-six percent, hundred percent, or I can simply use uh, the from and to. So if you just need uh, two keyframes, instead of using percentages like 10, 20, 30, 40, that is good uh, for multiple, uh, you know, inserting multiple uh, keyframes, but 
in case you just have two keyframes, it's, it's best to use from into uh, so from uh, this um, state to this state. People, I've just pumped in a lot of CSS3. You see, I am rotating the word. I'm translating the word. Uh, I'm, you know. Actually, fingering the word a lot. I'm uh, messing with the letter spacing. I'm messing with the word spacing. I'm messing with the the font size. I'm doing everything I can, you know, to rattle it up, to shake it up. You see, uh, in the from state, uh, this is the text shadow. Again, we are allowed in CSS3 to use multiple text shadows, which I'm actually al altering in the um, two states so from this text shadow to this text shadow again uh, you see I'm, I'm using multiple text shadows this actually gives a more pronounced uh, shake effect or rattle effect or jarred effect okay uh, this is optional people if you wish you can do away with that uh, you see uh, also that I'm rotating it one degree up front one degree means uh, towards the right hand side clockwise but I'm undoing it in the two state when I'm actually going minus one degree okay translate x one px translate y one px basically a shift upwards and towards the left by uh, one pixels that is uh, translate x along the along the x-axis left to right translate uh, y means along the y-axis top to bottom so basically excuse me this should mean uh, I'm sorry this should mean a shift along the x-axis uh, by 1 px on the right and towards the bottom and I'm actually undoing it in the two states so w this 1 px actually is getting undone out here and this 1 px is actually getting undone out here so this is a positive value this is a negative value to counter it positive and a negative value to actually counter it and letter spacing and word spacing again just to make the uh, rattle a little pronounced okay in fact just to go real slow so you can understand it real easy you know, let's let's see how it actually works in 10 seconds so 10,000 um, milliseconds is the same as 10 seconds so we'll be able to see the rattle of the jarred effect quite slow you see the text shadow is coming in pretty handy too you know it makes the effect more pronounced more uh, effective the word spacing the letter spacing everything helps you see the word spacing increase suddenly the uh, text shadow how it's actually helping the jarring of the words right so this is in slow-mo and let's get back to the way things were originally at 50 milliseconds let's save it up bring the browser up again what I'm not able to help is the choppy animation that you see right now again as I said because of the screencast so people uh, using the animation shortened property giving the animation a name I've given it a name of uh, shake me up okay that I've actually defined through the at the rate keyframes rule which uses the to and the from keywords so from one state to the other and including a lot of CSS3 uh, using the transform property which included the rotate and the translate different values you know so I've wrote sometimes rotated it uh, clockwise sometimes counterclockwise sometimes shifted it towards the right and towards the bottom and then in the next one, rule I'm actually undoing it okay I'm playing around with the text shadow with the letter spacing the word spacing and the font size you see up front it was actually 100 px uh, then uh, in the two state I'm actually changing it to 99 I'm able to pull up a nice rattle effect I hope you liked it let me know if you did you have a good day bye bye peace